Welcome food lovers to Neri's Kitchen. On today's segment, we are featuring a very special member. She has been with Fit Club since December of 2018, is at 828 workouts, and is now part of the team. Every Saturday evening, she gets redeployed to work at an isolation unit as a, medic as a support worker to work with our homeless population. She says, the folks there have taught me a lot about themselves and have humbled and inspired me to do check-ins with myself and my own privileges. Her favorite food right now, as it changes, is beet chips from Colin's house. And her favorite treat and cheat are chocolate ice cream with peanuts and, of course, Nary's <laughs> bars. <laughs> Lastly, she has become a crazy plant lady with 23 plants and counting. Today, we are making vegan mushroom nut burgers, courtesy of Steven Siemens, the head chef at the former Low Pub, along with air fried sweet potato fries. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a wonderful welcome to Kathy Bodie. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to the show. Yeah, it's going to be fun, I think. Well, I'm so excited to have these mushroom nut burgers mm -hmm. because I've tried them before when you made them for RJ and I this summer, and they were so good. Yeah. So now I actually get to see how you make them. Yeah, it's a pretty simple recipe. Um, I have prepared quite a bit beforehand, so it, uh, some of the steps are cut in half, so we, okay. we have some extra time here. Um, did you want me to go over what's inside them? Sure. Okay, so inside these particular burgers um, is just two, uh, four cups of cooked mushrooms. So I picked uh, just regular button mushrooms and the mini portobellas. Um, in here is the nuts that I had already chopped up in the food processor. So it's walnuts and slivered almonds. And then it calls for a white onion, finely diced, chopped garlic, which I have somewhere over here. You're so <laughs> um, organized, I, Kathy. <laughs> Look at these containers. I can't believe it. <laughs> I also need soy sauce and Worcestershire. I have those, yes. <laughs> I don't know how to say that word properly. Worcestershire. Um, it calls for chopped oregano, and I could not find that at the store, so we can use dried if do you have? I have dried. Okay, yeah, okay. you can grab that. Um, chili powder, salt, pepper, two cups of cooked brown rice, and two cups of flour. And okay. that is it. So I think we can start by cutting the onion and getting that sauteed. Okay. And I can uh, finish cutting up the mushrooms. Okay. I started doing that already too. So. And so we have a few viewers online already. We have Jane. Oh, hi. And Mark Larnick's online too. Hello, Mark. They're looking okay. forward to it. Good. I am glad. Okay. Okay, so I'm supposed to saute the mushrooms? Yeah, or if you want to start with the onion. Oh, onion? Chop that up. Fine. Okay. And I can continue on with the mushrooms. Do you have another cutting board? Or? I do, yes. Okay. This is your cutting board. Thank you. And I'll get you a large knife. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, so this recipe will make approximately 15 burgers. So it's 15 quite... burgers? <laughs> so and they're big too, right? Yeah, I make them a little bit bigger. Um, the, the patty's a little bit bigger. <laughs> uh -huh. So when I make them, I usually end up with about um, eight or ten. Oh, eight or ten? <laughs> yeah. But it's so filling. It's thick when you make them. Yeah. And again, they're completely vegan for, for those folks that appreciate that. Okay, so you know, I, I think I mentioned this last week, but mushrooms have a lot of protein. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's insane how much protein there is in it. Okay, and I just finally chopped this? Yep. All right. And that will be sauteed with uh, the garlic. Okay. So since I, I just use olive oil. Okay. The re recipe called for canola oil, but I prefer to use olive. It doesn't change the flavor. So. Right. Well, I always just think that olive oil is healthier for you. Yeah. I just cook with it all the time. That or coconut oil. I like coconut oil. But it has a coconut oil taste to it. Yeah. But the only thing about coconut oil is that, is it the, the temperature? Like when you the cook smoke. with it, the smoke point? Yeah. yeah, it's different. All right, so I'm just chopping this. Am I chopping up the whole onion? Yes. Please. Okay. All right. The original recipe for this called for something called reconstituted uh, wild mushrooms and 
I didn't know what that was. Constant. So is that cooked mushroom that's been dried, dried up? Yeah. And then you bring it back to life by putting <laughs> water in it? Yeah. That's what it said. But, um, but it has I, a deeper flavor. Did you know yeah, that? Yeah. Okay. And I was kind of sad that I didn't have any of that type of mushroom. Well, who has that on hand? <laughs> Reconstituted mushrooms. But you know what? Shiitake mushrooms are actually really good. Yeah. And they always come dried in the Asian market. Okay. And it has a nice woody, earthy taste to it. I actually really like it. haven't had that in a long time. So how many mushrooms? Is that like two... Two pounds of mushrooms? Well, I'm just going by eye here. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm thinking, like, the two bigger packages from Costco are the ones that I bought, and I only used half of each. Okay. So. All right. But, again, you could probably, like, you can use whatever your favorite mushroom is, right? So it doesn't have to be. I would just ones. use whatever is on sale. But yeah. you know what? The, I'm told that the Cremini ones have more flavor. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They do? Okay. So I'm, I always just get the brown ones. All right, so my onion is chopped. And then I'll saute this with oil and garlic. So where I came into these burgers was a coworker of mine. Um, her husband owned the low pub, which was connected to a hostel. Where's that? It was right behind Portage Place. So we would Was this a while ago? Yeah, it was okay. like... Maybe 10 years ago. I don't know okay. the exact dates. But um, so we would go there for lunches. And mm -hmm. these mushroom nut burgers were the most popular item on the menu. And then when they closed, everybody was freaking out because they don't get their burgers anymore. Everyone was freaking out. <laughs> I can see that. I really so I gave it a couple of years. And then I, I messaged my friend and coworker And I asked her if I could get the recipe. And she gave it to me. Nice. So... Um, to do this today, I got permission to use Steven's recipe. Thank you, Steven. Thank you, Steven. I hope he's listening and watching. Oh, we'll let Steven know for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we'll get that other skillet going too with a little bit of olive oil for these mushrooms. Sure, okay. And I'm just going to start my pampered chef air fryer. I'm just gonna um, warm it up a bit so we don't have to wait. That'll do five minutes. I always see people using their air fryers for everything. Yeah. Apparently you can bake with it too. Yeah, there's a lot. I'm still, this is still a new toy for me, so I'm learning, but for today's sweet potatoes, I'm using the custom option. I don't know if all air fryers have that option, but um, kind of played around with it a bit, so that's what we're gonna do. And the, the Pampered Chef one offers like air fry, bake, roast, rotisserie. So there's a little bit more options on this one. So that's kind of the one why we chose it. We have, oh, Mackie's watching. Oh. We have Mackie, we have Shelly. Hi, Ashley, thanks for tuning in. Jen King's online. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'll continue cutting these guys up. All right. So we're just going to saute the onion for, I don't know, I guess. Just until they're like a little bit see-through. See-through? Yeah. And then we'll just set that aside. Okay. I can already smell it. It's so fragrant. Do you have a lid for um, a lid? For, the, for that one? Yes, I do. Okay. That might help a bit. It might help. Okay. So I'll put the lid here. And then your pan is good whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. I think this is from Pampered Chef, yeah, and I, is, I love yeah. it. I love it. I have that one too. I have a lot of Pampered, Pampered Chef stuff. There. I think that's good for the mushrooms. Okay. That's actually quite a bit of mushrooms. Yeah, once they cook down too, so. And you need another lid for that too? Yeah. Okay. Does that get really hot? It does. Is okay. that a, se a setting of like seven? A medium? Yeah. Is that medium? Or? It's like medium. Yeah. Okay. Medium high. Okay. Okay, so maybe while that's cooking, we can cut the sweet potato and get that ready. Sure. Because that'll take about 15 minutes to cook 
in the air fryer. Okay. okay. Do you peel it first or how do you do it? No, this, I keep the skin on it. Do you want to do half? No, let's do the whole. Okay. <laughs> There's lots of people here. We're hungry. So. Drone's here. Drone's here, yeah. He's <laughs> hungry. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll make them. I, I like to make them a little bit thinner. Jenna says, oh, it's so good. And we have Blessing Online says, I like that air fryer. <laughs> oh, Joanne says, hello, beautiful ladies. Oh, hi, hi. French fry. <laughs> We're making healthy French fries for you. Oh, yeah, healthy French fries. <laughs> Didn't she say it's like, what, 500 burpees for French fries? Oh, something like that, yeah. Not today, not today. Or Rick, Rick told her that, I think. Oh, Rick told her that? <laughs> of course, yeah. Well, she has named French fry for a reason. <laughs> Likes her French fries. I know that... Um, Member uh, Betty, she has Betty uh, Froze. Yeah, she sells Pampered Chef. Okay. And I think that these air fryers are on sale this month through Pampered Chef. So how much would it be going for? I'm not sure. I got a really good deal on mine right at Christmas time. So okay. Um, Part of me. How much? I paid 200 and I think it came to 212 dollars wow. total. Cheap. That is cheap. <laughs> I know that some people were trying to get it at Costco and that it was blocked up because of part of the non essentials line. Okay. Yeah. yeah I they... just saw people posting it because everyone was going crazy over these air fryers. <laughs> I know. It's uh, become a thing. But so many people at the gym have them too, and oh, it's yeah? nice because I think that there's a lot of recipe sharing happening right now. So. Well, LG, like right now, they're actually making one. Air fryer, big one. Oh, so, right. you, okay. Whoa. So, LG is? LG. But then w would you put on your counter? No, it's going to be like that. Oh, for your oven. oh, a replacement. Yeah. I see. <clears throat> well, Caroline at the gym also, she, when I first got mine, she told me that I might as well throw my oven away because <laughs> I never use it again. I saw her say that, actually. <laughs> and I do use it a lot. I think, well, and Jenna helps me quite a bit, actually, at home with, with the different recipes. We've tried to make our own beet chips. They turned out really good, but not as good as Colin's house, of course. <laughs> um, but we make sweet potato fries all the time for, for a snack, and we've cooked some meat in there. And I saw that Rick and Jen have the same air fryer as us, Oh, too. they have one, too? Yeah, and they made a pineapple. Oh, yes, I saw that. That had, like, the sugar and cinnamon on it, I think, with yeah. butter. Okay, so that's um, done. You, if you want to just open the lid up. Oh, no, it's good, I think. It's good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we will, we can put this into a bowl and just toss it with um, olive oil. Yeah, and a little bit. I brought some sea salt there, too. Okay. I toss it um, in there. I, actually, I'll probably do the sea salt after it comes out. Okay, I'll try it that way but I do toss it in olive oil. That might be enough for the trays that I have right oh, now. Okay. We'll just see. We have Candy online. Hi, Candy. Hi, Candy. Oh, it's nice to see everybody. Yeah, well, it is nice to see people watching. I never know who watches, right? So it's nice to see familiar faces. Okay, so we can toss that and then we'll place them on the trays. Okay. Well, the mushrooms like are doing really good here. Doing good? Oh, they smell fabulous too. Let's put another mm. there. That's the best smell of co mushrooms cooking. Blessing is, uh, is saying, do you need oil for the air fryer or not? Do you need oil? Um, I, I believe so. Um, the recipes, all of the recipes that I have uh, looked up call for oil. So um, whether it's an oil spray or an, a little bit of an oil rub or an oil toss like this. But I'm sure if you look, if you Google, right, you can maybe you can find it, some, yeah. some recipes that don't need oil. Just use the oil blessing. <laughs> It'll make but, it taste but I better. think that's what makes them uh, makes it juicy, right? Because the oil? it's just the air, right? True. Okay. Get some extra virgin oil. Okay. Oh, okay. Ashley is saying she's never used oil. Okay. Oh. Well, she, is that Ashley uh, Kenny? No, this is Ashley Kapner. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, oil or not, let us know. <laughs> what do you guys use? 
I, I have an air fryer, but I've never used mine before. So I'm gonna see how these work. These take these turn out, and then I'll let you guys know. So to oil or to not, let me know. <laughs> okay, I didn't add salt. Should I be adding salt to this? Uh, no, after? we'll do it after. We'll toss okay. it after they come out. So I don't think I use that much oil though. I'm looking at the fries, and they don't look like they're too shiny. Okay, Melinda saying do not use oil. Okay, you know what? I think how about an oil spray? <laughs> oil spray, yeah, that's very little oil. So I just press off here, Nari. Oh, okay, right. off, sure. So it's good? Okay. All right, so those can, uh, we can put them into the bowl, actually. Okay. Yeah. So I'll put this into the bowl. Thank you, Jerome. That was fast, actually. All right, so first step is saute your onion, saute your mushroom. And the mushrooms are almost... Almost there? Yeah. Okay. I like them a little bit... Um, not as watered down, I guess. Okay, so I'm told yes. you can use spray. Melinda says spray is fine. Joanne says I use a bit of oil spray. Okay, let's try oil spray next time. Okay, right. so we can place these on. To, I've washed my hands. So okay. We can place, I'm yep. just going to take a handful and sure. put them on the tray. Like a single layer? Yeah. Okay. And then we have an aioli, a chipotle aioli sauce to dip them in for later. Yum. We need to have the sauce. That's what they have at the restaurants, right? Yeah. Okay, single layer. I think I'm going to just bring this over here. Okay, we're going to use every bit. Okay, and then it, we can just put it on the Oh, top like this? Layer. Okay. Oh, other way, yeah. This way. Oh, I see. There we go. Okay, then we'll put that. I set it for 16 minutes at 375. Let me just get started and let those cook while we prepare the rest of this. Um, so now what we're going to do is, I've already, the nuts are already chopped, so we are going to, actually I would use another bowl, I'm sorry. Oh, another bowl? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of nuts are those? Um, almonds and walnuts. Almonds and walnuts. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you want a bigger Maybe bowl? Maybe a bigger one, yeah. Okay. Oh, here that right. one's good. Okay. And then I'm going to put the mushroom in here okay basically everything's just going to go into the into the bowl for mixing we have chess so. wa watching hi chess hi chess hi terry hi cassie i guess you don't put the liquid in also right i try not to like it's but the liquid is okay because that but that's what keeps them moist right because you're not using um an egg for binding, right? True. Okay, so that's off. All right. <clears throat> so now we can put, um, it says to, to uh, puree the mushrooms. I don't do that because I like them chunky mm -hmm. in my burgers. So I like it, it gives too. It more I like texture. To see it. Yeah. So I'm just going to put the chopped nuts in with the mushrooms. And what kind of nuts are those? Almonds and walnuts. Almonds and walnuts. Yeah, and you just chop them up, which I did before. With the food here. processor. Yeah. And then we're going to get uh, the Worcestershire oh, right. okay. and soy sauce. And I will put the rest of Okay, so here is my worst Worcestershire sauce. So that's a, we need one tablespoon of that. And a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm surprised you used soy sauce in it. Would never have known. Okay, soy sauce. I'm just gonna add this mixture in with the mushrooms, or sorry, in with the onions and the garlic. And you said you needed oregano? Yeah, it, it calls for chopped oregano, but I couldn't find any, so. And I didn't have any. There we go. Okay. 
Here's my oregano. Okay, here's a tablespoon. All right, and do you have a quarter cup? Yes, I do. Okay. Worcestershire. <laughs> That's what I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you know what? We Googled it because we had it on my show before, and I Googled it, and it's pronounced Worcestershire. <laughs> Worcestershire, yes. Actually, I don't really know. And a quarter cup of soy sauce. Can someone tell me how to pronounce it? Worcestershire. I think you were right. It's, it's just fun saying it the other way. It is fun saying it incorrectly. <laughs> okay. And then we just add all of the rest of the seasonings, which is um, the black pepper is one tablespoon, which is a lot, <laughs> but it's good. Uh, one teaspoon of salt, or sorry, two teaspoons of salt. And then we have one tablespoon of chili powder. And then how much, I wonder how much I should use because it's the half quarter, quarter cup. cup. So I'm not going to use quarter that of dried. I'll just I would put say a half. I'll put a square plate. So just guess. Yeah. <laughs> this is two cups of cooked brown rice that I, I made before I came. And then the last ingredient is two cups of flour. So Neri, mm -hmm. if you want to get the pan that we we cooked the onions in, okay, ready? Yeah. And we can just start. Uh, I'll start forming the burgers. Okay. And then we can start cooking them. Um, I usually, when I make them, I usually serve them on a, these thin. I can't remember the name of them. They sell them at No Frills, but they're thin um, alternate for like a thicker hamburger bun, but they're thin. Oh, the pita um, buns or pita bread? Well, I don't. Pita rounds? No, I don't think that's what they were. Um, but I couldn't find those, so I bought hamburger buns, and I also brought English muffins. And the other option is to, once the burger's cooked, you can cut it in half and put it into a... A lettuce boat then you don't have the carbs of the the bun if you choose I'm gonna put my gloves on and mix it with my hands because it's getting a little heavier so that's a big mixture that's a lot that's all it is a lot of food I should have halved it but no no that's fine you've come yeah, to the Padua's yeah and Jerome's here and Jerome's here <laughs> So if you look, oh Bob's you. watching. Hi Bob. Hi Bobby. <laughs> I love you, Bobby. Yeah, love you, Bobby. I love you, Bob. <laughs> I miss you, Bob. Come home, Bob. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's not home. He's in Regina. Story so of when's my Bob life. coming back home? He comes home on the twelfth. Or he usually comes home for four or five days, and then he's gone again for three weeks. Oh my goodness, Bob, come home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of used. To, I'm used to it. It's yeah. been like that our whole marriage and mm -hmm. he works away a lot so yeah that's yeah. okay i remember him telling us we figure it out so it kind of looks like like a regular ground beef hamburger it does and it has the consistency of it as well okay so, so in that pan you can put a little bit of olive oil yep it's ready okay whenever you're ready okay and it's gonna bring this over here. Should I get this pan going too or not? Sure. Might as okay. well because then we'll get... Oops. Drop some on here. That's fine. So you really, you just... Because everything in this burger mixture is already cooked, it doesn't take long to... You just really want to brown them. But you can see in here the mushrooms and the little bit of chunks of nuts and the rice actually give it that really nice texture when you bite into it. Do you want it higher? Um, Seven? Sure. We'll okay. see how that goes. So that's about the thickness that I make mine all the time. Because it does, depending on what you're putting, like what kind of bun you're using too. And we're using a real bun. Yes. Today. And then we're going to go for a walk after. 
Yes, we are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> to burn it off. <laughs> okay. So I'll do three okay. for now. And this one is good, too. Okay. So the, the prep for this burger is actually not too bad for time because it didn't take me very much time to do what I had to do at home before I came. So we have Nancy watching. Hi, Nancy. Tamika's online as well. Hi, oh, Tamika. Oh, hi, Tamika. We have Ainsley Brown. Oh, the sister is watching. Hi. I met Tamika for the first time yesterday. Oh, at really? Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah, Tamika and Sandy are related. Yeah. Yeah. She, Tamika is Sandy's daughter-in-law. Daughter yes. Yeah. That was a great video you did too, Tamika. Good job. Mm-hmm. Good job, Tamika. Okay. That one's a big one. Yes. Okay. So we're, we're just going to let them brown. Okay. I'll just keep these gloves on well. Is there, you know, let's get another pan okay, going. Sure. Mine as well. I made a mess. <laughs> That's okay. It'll get cleaned. I'll clean it later. Oh, where's my pans? I did my dishes. Okay, let's get them going. One is all. Yeah, we have the time. Ravina's online. Hi, Hi Ravina. Ravina. I think Ravina hit 900 workouts, was it? Yes. And you're at 828? Well, no, I'm more than that now. <laughs> okay, I'm you're like probably at 8. I think I'm at 833 now. 833? Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know how you guys get so many. I just reached 900, and it took me like five years. Ah, can we put that burger in the air fryer? Oh well, yeah, I, I'm thinking that we can. Um, that was my, uh, I was going to mention that, but I, I wasn't going to very well do that before today because oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. But I'm well, you thinking probably you can. Could. You can pretty much, you can put everything in there. I'm thinking. Oh, Brian's online. Hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Okay, do you want to check those ones there? They look like they're getting nice okay. and brown. Sure. See if I can flip it. Don't show that. Yeah, don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's not organized here. I need one of those like, uh, yeah, I need a spatula. Oops. So I need one of those like shelving organizers. Okay, and if I can flip this. Oh. Oh, that's oh, perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. So they they brown really nice. Oh yeah, they do. Oh, and they oh they smell so delicious. <laughs> See, it looks like real meat. Yeah. And uh, like I said, you don't have to cook them for very long because everything's already cooked. Okay. And then yeah, you can try those good. ones. Yeah. Oh, that's a little bit tougher. Uh oh okay still good still good you know i'll let it i think it needs to be cooked okay. a little bit longer or it needs a little bit of oil one of those okay so in the meantime i will chop our tomato and our onion do you have a an oven mitt that i can use yes i'm just going over there. to switch these around sure do your kids like these mushroom nut burgers? They do. They love them. There you go. Mmm. The top, the top cooks a little bit faster than the other ones, so I'm just gonna switch them around for a bit. Put this up here. Now I wonder if you can like use different ingredients. Like, do you have to use rice? Can you use something else? Or can um, you use almond flour? I think that, I'm not sure. Like, I think it's a filler, right? So, yeah. Or maybe quinoa. Quinoa? Maybe. Well, maybe. Is that your oven beeping? Yeah, okay. it just means like when I remove it, it makes that noise. Oh, I see. Yeah. It just tells me a lot of stuff. See, I removed it. I'm gonna check this one here. Okay, just sure. To it's probably done. Just reduce that. Yeah. So these ones are done. Okay. Um, do you want me to just place them onto a plate? Yeah, let's do that. Let's plate it. So here's a plate for you. 
Here, I'll put this down here. Sure. <laughs> Well, I'm excited for these fries. Yes. To oil or not to oil? <laughs> I oiled. Most people say, <laughs> most people said no oil or the spray. I'm also going to cut up a little bit of red onion for my burger, just because I like the flavor of it. Oh, we still had some left. I know. That's okay, I'll cook it up. Or you can... I'll, I'll, I'll start the pan, we'll cook it. Sure. Mine as well. So that made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow. Close to what? Yeah, they're nice, they're, they're nice and big. So. It's nice and big, exactly. Oh, we have Maria online. Hi, Maria. Brian says, hi, Mary. Hi, Smiley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I think Brian just reached a milestone, wasn't he it? He did. I think it was. What was it? 700? Yes. Brian, what was it? 700 or 800? Pretty sure it was seven. Seven? That's crazy. Congrats, Brian. Your garbage is down here, Mary. Uh, it's just over here. The last one. How there. much longer for the French fries? Uh, two minutes. Two more minutes? Yeah. It's kind of perfect timing. <laughs> and then we have a garlic aioli, you said? Yeah, for the dip. Oh, okay. And then whatever type of bun you want to use i'll use the big bun okay a nice hearty one i think these are done too okay so i'm going to turn this off so kathy yeah what's for dinner later what are you guys <laughs> going to make oh, well this will be my dinner <laughs> this is your dinner um but tonight i the original plan was chicken chicken is chicken is always in my home chicken yeah how do you cook your chicken? Uh, I bake it. You bake or, it? Is it chicken breast or chicken thighs? It's a chicken piece with the back attached tonight. Okay. Or you can cook it in here too. There's, I haven't cooked chicken in here yet. Just the only meat I cooked in here was uh, pork tenderloin. And it okay. turned out amazing, so. I need to do my meal prep still, so I'm just asking what's for dinner. <laughs> there. Should I just maybe leave that on there, or do you want it in here? Doesn't matter. Okay, you can put it in there, yeah. Oh, thank you, Jerome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, and... Oh, okay, well, there we go. Do you have another plate for these? Yes. Mm. So I'm just going to... I'm using the wrong hand. I know that. Are you left-handed? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. <laughs> when someone says something like that, I'm like, it's, it's a left-handed thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> These top ones could have went for a little bit longer, but that's okay. They're still delicious. There. So this is grab this aioli sauce here. I'll move this over. Okay. Oh, nice plating. Okay, so we can put the burgers together. Yeah. How do you normally put it together? Um, well, you can put some of that sauce on the burger if you choose to. That's good on it. Um. I usually just put hot sauce and vegetables, and we have tomato and red Okay, onion. so why don't you build yours? Sure. Do you have a little, a smaller plate? Sure, yes. All right, so here, let's give you this plate here. Okay. 
I'm new. It's here. I'll use one of these buns. Yeah, use the big one. I'll build mine too. I'm going to actually try some of that on it. Um, where would I find a knife? Oh, just over there. Okay. Yeah. Underneath on the other side. This one? Oh, oh. the left side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And again, you can use um, whatever you want, just like whatever you put on your burger, right? Oh, you know what I have? I love this stuff. Oh, your barbecue sauce. I, use, I, I put this that. stuff on everything. I really do. But it's if you wanted you know, a nice, healthy, low-calorie option, we have the sugar-free barbecue sauce that I picked up from Gorilla Jack, which is amazing. That's another okay. option. But I think I might try that. Mm -hmm. There's always a way on how to build a burger. And I actually looked it up. I think you're supposed to put your sauce on the bottom. And then you put your lettuce. If you want lettuce, and then you put your burger. Oh, and then you put your tomato and your onion like that. That's exactly how you're supposed to build it. <laughs> I'll switch spots with you so you can yes. get your vegetables. Okay, I'll get this one here. See, that's a big burger. I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll turn this one off. Here. But you know what? Okay, so RJ and I have been making burgers at home lately. And you, it doesn't cost that much to make a, a burger at home. It'll cost you like maybe ten dollars if you break it down. But going to a restaurant, you're spending so much money. Uh, it's probably at least thirty dollars for two people. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try these fries. Did you yeah. try them yet? I haven't. No. It's good. Mm -hmm. Put some salt on your fries. Oh yeah. You know, I don't think you need the salt with this with this garlic aioli. But you can if you choose to sprinkle some sea salt. Okay, let's try this. Okay. okay. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> it's really good. It doesn't even taste like it's vegetarian. It doesn't. And it has a little kick to it. Mm -hmm. I like that chili, yes. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I tasted was that. Mm -hmm. mm. There you have it. Thank you so much, Kathy, mm. <laughs> for joining me in Neri's Kitchen. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure fun. having you coming over. And now we have all these burgers. <laughs> but Jerome's here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jerome, yes. We will have some. And RJ. Mm -hmm. And RJ. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks so much, Kathy. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Thank you. I learned so much. I'm going to make this again. I promise. Thank you. Steve. And if anybody wants the recipe, you can. I'll, I'm happy to share it. I'm allowed to share it. So. Okay. So we have permission to share. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>